What are the greatest opportunities of the 21st century? We are more connected and more mobile than ever before. People everywhere are gaining access to information, education, clean water and nutritious foods, life-saving medicines. The number of people living in extreme poverty has declined continuously for over two centuries. What are our greatest challenges? You might think of conflict and terrorism or the refugee crisis, climate change, food security, pandemics, or economic security. Underlying every single one of these issues is science and technology. Sometimes the scientific component is obvious. Developing vaccines, providing clean water. In other cases, the scientific linkages may be less obvious. Climate change and societal instability, genetics and human rights. Over 9 billion people now live on planet Earth. In today's world, no nation can stand alone and no nation can prosper without science and technology. We're faced with many questions. How will we continue to balance the risks and benefits of nuclear technology? How will we continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge? How will nations work together to combat viruses and public health emergencies? How will we collectively govern spaces that fall outside national jurisdictions, such as the high seas? How will we navigate a new age of security as climate change raises tensions around the globe. I am Dr. Marga Gual Soler. I'm Dr. Tom Wang. We're here at the Center for Science Diplomacy of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. In our globalized world, nations must more than ever engage and cooperate with one another. And this is the domain of diplomacy. The process of international engagement of nurturing and maintaining international relationships that help to achieve these goals. It is clear that science and technology play critical and ever greater roles in this process. At the same time, diplomacy is playing an increasingly important role in supporting the global scientific enterprise. Diplomacy is actually key to the expansion of human knowledge. This course will help you understand the interaction of science and diplomacy in practice. We'll discuss a useful analytical framework for the ways that science and diplomacy can and must be integrated. We'll talk about everything from the Iran nuclear deal to telescopes in Chile to snails in the tropics. By the end of the course, you'll also recognize the roles of scientists, diplomats, and other societal actors. And most importantly, you'll be able to identify your own role and how you can get involved. And along the way, you realize that science diplomacy is greater than the sum of its parts.